Hello, good morning, Sunday morning. We don't usually work on Sundays, do we, Corey? What are we doing? We lo we've lost the plot. Picking up the lost pieces. Yeah, no, it's the final furlough, furlong, final furlough. You're not furloughed yet, are you? Next no. week, that is. I forgot to tell you about that. <laughs> no, the final furlong, we are just um, doing the board today, just finishing off. So there's only, what, how many circuits we've got left to connect? Oh, about... Um, six. Six, ah, six seven. Circuits. Seven circuits. Seven circuits, easy peasy. So we're going to do that, um, get those in. Finish, just like finish tidy, tidying everything up, and then it's just testing basically and doing the certificate. So that will take us a little while. Um, commissioning the zappies. Commissioning the zappies, yeah, um, which shouldn't take too long. Um, and that's pretty much it, I think. Uh, I'll show you around what the guys did yesterday because I didn't really get a chance to show you properly. And then uh, we'll get into it. So this is where we're at so far this morning. It's looking really nice and neat. As you can see, we've just got those breakers to do. And there's just the issue. It's just lighting mostly, isn't it now? So it should be fairly easy, but we've got to extend those cables around. So that's what's gonna take um, a little bit of time just to extend those around nicely in the trunking. Do that fire alarm spur with a new bit of FP into the side of here. This is what the guys did yesterday for the zappies. So they basically, we decided to run a little bit of 50 mil cable tray in just to, to run the cables neatly these armoureds so they're running all the way along here like that and then one swoop down into this zappy and another one into that zappy so that's really nice and then here over this side we're all done now with the cable tray as you can see so that run basically what we've done is we've taken a uh, new, a spur off this, which is an existing radial, a bit of 2.5 NYYJ cable, and then we've run it all the way along the cable tray. This is the little tricky thing that we were struggling with a bit, is this, um, this slight set, and then this set up. It's a little bit of a tricky corner to work around, but the guys did really well with that yesterday. They smashed that out pretty quick. So then we go over there, just jump across the pillar, along here, down into the socket, just a couple of double sockets. It's a massive amount of work just for a couple of double sockets, but it future proofs us now so that we can really easily run in extra cables if needed. So let's get on it, Corey. labeling up which is my favorite part because I'm a little bit sad um, yeah it's by far my favorite part of a board change is labeling up because also that means 
it's usually the bit closest to home time. Yep, home time is much needed now. It's 20 past three on Sunday. We've still got a lot of tidying up to do, but all the testing's done. So I've been running around basically doing uh, R1 and R2s and all the circuits and labeling everything up. So I've labeled all the sockets throughout the property so that we know exactly what circuits they're all on and everything. I've done the commissioning on the zappies as well and got them all up and running. And Corey's just been finalising and dressing all these cables in. I had to reconfigure a lot of the lighting as well because uh, the, the fishtail key switches didn't work properly. And you had lots of places where they were switched in two places. So like here, you had, well, you had 400 volts here unnecessarily. Um, and you had the fishtail there, which is like, you know, the emergency light test key point. And then you had it again around the other place in the same circuit. Um, and it's like, you know, a, a key here for a circuit and then another key there. So I've tried to sort of strip that out and simplify it a little bit. So it's a little bit more, um, well, there's less breaks in the circuits, basically. So we got took a bit of sussing out. We've got one slightly annoying thing, though, which is that we're short of, uh, what is it, it's like seven blanks? Yeah. <laughs> Typical. I, I bought extras and I bought out all that, that CEF had left. And my wholesaler, for some reason, just didn't send me enough. I just said to them, count how many breakers we've got, count how many spare ways there are, and then just give us the number of blanks that we need to fill all the spare ways. But they sent us a box of 10. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And it's right. There's always something, and it's better that it's that than something else. Yeah, it's just like a shame when you have to come back for a tiny little thing like that, but it is what it is. I suppose with a, a fairly chunky job like this, you're going to always have something that you don't quite manage, especially when it's over the weekend and so you can't get materials from wholesalers and stuff. So considering that, I think we've done pretty well. We didn't really get stuck on anything major, so that's the good thing. Because you had your crack team on the job. The A team, yeah. So I'm going to start tidying up now. Right, so I just want to talk to you for a moment about this. Let me just make sure we're in focus here. This is our tool of the day. Well, the tool of the weekend, really. This, <laughs> I, um, I got inspired by residual current when I saw this on his Instagram page. And to be honest, uh, I didn't really think I had a use for it, but it just looked so nice. I was like, I'm going to get one. And this weekend, this tool has come in really, really handy for cutting this stuff. So this is 70 mil earth. And to just watch, one-handed, this is how sharp it is. You can cut 70 mil earth with one hand using this thing. It's an absolute beast. So amazing little tool and it's just such a nice clean cut as well if you look at that that is a really really clean cut so definitely a nice little thing to have i'll leave a link in the description where you can get yourself one of these <laughs> it's been a long week no it's not even been a week it's been a weekend how are you feeling yeah i'm all right i'm fine those vegan sausage rolls have paid off and look at the result. Yeah, this is a plant-based installation. Yeah. Actually, no, it's not. Powered um, by veg oil. It's not. I had a sausage and bacon and mushroom roll yesterday, actually. So it's slightly porky, but mostly, yeah. mostly plant-based. We'll forgive you. You need a bit of meat to uh, get a, an installation like this done. So talk us through it. Right. So um, we've got the tails coming down here and in giving myself a nice amount of room to spread except i didn't actually really need to do that because the cables are really quite pliable but i wasn't sure how bendy they'd be so it gave us plenty of space to spread onto the uh, bus bar um you've got a surge protection here which is coming off of a i think type d type c 63 amp breaker um, you've got all the incoming cables here. So we've run all of these armored cables in um, for the different sockets and zappies and that. So they come down into here. All the power cabling is inside this trunk in here. Um, like I say, the lighting we've had to sort out. 
Um, we've had to get rid of a lot of points and readjust it because th the test keys didn't work and it wasn't really making any sense. So I've sorted that out. Um, what else is there? Obviously, we replaced the main earth, the 70 mil main earth. So what everyone wants to know is what does it look like inside? I don't know if they'll be able to see from so there. So shall we take the cover well, off? Well, sh inside we this bit's great, but obviously you've got the blanks missing, but they're going to be replaced, I think, tomorrow. Um, Shall we safely and gently remove the cover and just show them what it looks like? Yeah, go on, let's safely and gently remove the cover. So, here we go. This is it, the work of art. Zan. Art is Zan Electrics. We take pride in our work in every single detail. So, running through, we have everything is numbered, so you know exactly what wires are what. Everything is dressed nice and neatly. The only annoying thing is those missing blanks, which we're going to have to come back on Monday and sort those out. But everything else is done and dressed beautifully. Can I just so make the point as well that everything that needs to be ferled is ferled? Because I feel like that's something that's going to be brought up. Yeah, absolutely. That any cable that needs to be ferled is ferled. Anything that's stranded, solid core stranded, I've not ferled. Yeah, so it's a bit of a thing, isn't it, that everyone's obsessed with ferals. But actually, unless it's fine stranded, you don't really need to ferrule things up. Um, so we've just done where it's necessary. And all this labelling is done now. So everything's labelled inside the board and outside the board. This is the labelling on the front of the board, as you can see. So all the circuits are labelled. We've got loads of spare ones. And a nice little touch, we've already done the certificate and printed the um, board schedule. We've got to finalise the certificate back in the office, but most of it is in and done. So we've got at least a schedule which shows exactly what circuits are what. Um, so that's it really. Ready to just um, pack up and go home. So quick final tour, here we go, board is done, everything's on and working, cables running round for the two zappy chargers on a bit of two inch cable tray all the way around here and down one 22 kilowatt zappy and another 22 kilowatt zappy and they're charging the, scooter, the uh, vehicle right now with it and then around here <laughs> Corey's in the forklift. <laughs> We've got all this is done. Cable tray is running all the way around now. And a little uh, nice little set there along. And then down to these additional sockets. We are done. It's been a long weekend, but I'm happy. Let's get out of here. Let me show you that as well. Oh, we need to stick those blanks in there, Corey. Final touch. So thanks for joining us on this epic project. What is next for Artisan Electrics? Well, to find out, you'll have to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future videos. And if you want to see Corey in his Superman hat again, then you know what to do. As always, Thanks for watching and have a great day.